Well, good morning, sunshine. It is 4.45. Your girl is dressed. I'm about to go use the bathroom to finish getting ready. There's that stuff. Yep, all ready to fly out. So that's exciting. Well, I made it to the airport. I still have like an hour before my day takes off. Uh, Mom and Dad dropped me off, and I saw the boys this morning. Oh, except for Luke. Um, yeah, I guess nothing else has really happened. So I went through the machine night, and I didn't have any material or whatever. And they're like, you're good to go. And then um, the my staff came and you know, machine bugs, there's liquids and stuff. And I'm like, I don't think the machine likes me. And she's like, it might not, but we do. Yeah, that's cool. So I made it to Denver safely, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any of this. So my boarding's supposed to start at like 9:10. Flight's not supposed to pick up till 10 though. So I'm looking for somewhere to eat. So I made it to Houston, but of course, in order to go get my luggage, I have to go down and escalate it. What is it with the world? Found my bags, found my crew. Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> We're all in on us. We're in a car. We're gonna get food and we have packets. So now we're at a member's house. It's just so weird. This is also getting those like these really cool journals. Button, right? I think I'm recording. The lighting's amazing. Is there a flash on this or no? <laughs> Yo soy pizza boy Doyle. Hola, como estas? Oh. <laughs> it is story time. So, um, the flying was easy and fun. Um, so the last video you got of me being in an airport it was me complaining about escalators, obviously, because we know I hate them. But at the bottom of the escalators, the assistant leaders were there at the bottom of the staircase. Look for the white shirt and ties. Always look for the white shirt and ties. So that was pretty good. And then they helped me grab my luggage and I met my mission mom. The energy is real. And we got my bike and a helmet and we haven't used those yet. Oh my gosh, Alex, we go for runs every morning. Death. Actually, Yesterday, I did not stop running except when they stopped running, which was at the turnaround point. So, yeah, but sometimes I have to walk a little bit, but it's actually really good. Your baby girl's doing good. Just think about it. I'll be so good at running in humidity that when I get back, it's on, baby. <laughs> we, we work out here on this little porch thing, and you can't actually really see it, but it's fun because, you know, we get to see the rising sun. And we know how I love sun rises. There's not a lot that I can really say right now that I realize that I won't put in your letter or in the mass email that I do. Oh, they took our phones. Yeah, they took our phones. Uh, they're like, hey, we're just gonna, first 10 days, know what it was like, you know, just get used to it, bruh. And we're like, okay, actually, I've been really grateful because it's taken away a big distraction. Um, Anyway, I know I have a lot of really awful videos and I'm so sorry and I'm sorry for like the awful pictures too, but some of them really worked out. I don't know if there's much else I really want to tell you in this video besides that I absolutely adore you still. Oh, and my trainers like found out about you like on day one. So, ooh, they're like, oh, and I'm like, I know, he's great, he's just the best. Oh my gosh, this video is already eight minutes. I'm going to tell you that you don't have to watch this one because you really don't. Anyway, love you. <laughs>
Ooh, llama lights. Good morning, Carino. I bet my hair is horrible, but you don't care. Um, I'm about to go, and uh, this is not a if I die thing. This is a you're gonna get this anyway. <laughs> I'm not allowed to die. I know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's 37 degrees out. That's quite a bit of wind. Last night there was so much wind, it was insane. Um, I I kind of want to nickname this the Talking Woods because it it sounded like people were talking outside. That's how many noises the wind was making last night. Uh, I had this for breakfast: chicken fried rice. So good. I love these meals. This took no effort at all. I just took this little you know thing, and I just like. Heated up some water and then boom. Anyway, I better go. It's like eight in the morning. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you up on top. <laughs> I love you so much. Water, good. That means I can fill up whenever. I am so overdressed. I'm like nice. I'm just nice. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of falling. I'm just not allowed to die. This has got to be one of the craziest ones. I've spent a lot of time feeling alone. That's no problem for me. I've had people leave me behind before. Some have come back. Others have not. I left people behind too, and I'm not sure I ever really came back. It's a past that I continue to struggle with. But I know that God has given me a gift. A precious and beautiful gift that will never leave.
my heart. Thy gift is you. Courtney's sending me are like super heavy. They're still like cards, they're still in letter things. So it costs extra money, it's like four bucks. So I have to go pick it up every time. It's a good excuse for me to go downtown and get some coffee. You haven't been to Crooked Tree Coffee and Cakes before? Go. It's the best place in town. I will swear on that forever. Uh, they have a pear macaron today. I don't know what that's gonna taste like. I'm excited. And I got my usual. Got my stuff. Also got information on applying for a passport. I need to renew mine uh, really quickly here soon because I have a really important announcement later to tell you. There's like a wind warning and every time there's a wind warning in montana i'm like what the hell because it's really windy here all the time out in the plains uh also this music is so loud i got my business done and so now it's time to go back home and complete my morning routine because it is 10 23 so yeah That is a lot of money. They were complained at the end of last year that they were really expensive. They were 60 bucks. What the heck is the 100 about? Uh, I do have to find my old passport. I think it's in that drawer. It was not in this drawer. <laughs> oh, that's my D&D character. His name is Jimmy. find it in the first drawer. I was like, oh, we're gonna be here for two hours. That was just in the one on top. That's cool, cool stuff. Well, I found it. I do have to go to work at some point, but as you can see, my room is a mess. So I'm gonna clean that really quick before I go anywhere. 
uh, yeah, cause it's like, it's 1045, so I've got some time to kill. That looks better, but now it's time to go to work. So, this is work. What I do here is a lot of it. I've been working here for actually just over a year. Uh, I don't think I really ever came up in the vlogs until the very end of last time. What I do here is I'll do some film transfers and stuff on 8mm film reels to digital, which is really fun. That might be my favorite thing. Um, we also make DVDs and USB sticks and stuff like that. We also make commercials. Well, I haven't made one before, but right now we're editing one, so we'll put the number in and like the the voice. It's really cool. Oh, we we do do some of those like life alert uh, commercials, the ones that everybody makes fun of. That's pretty. That's pretty great. But uh, yeah, this is it's a fun job. I like that. Well, I'm gonna get back to work and work on this as well, and probably read and stuff. Oh, this is a MagSafe car mount, which I wanted for like a year now, but finally got one. Reading the Bible, kind of. It's cool. It's a Bible without verse numbers and chapter numbers. And these are just the prophets. It's pretty cool. It's got a different rhythm to it and everything. I'm noticing things that I've never noticed before. Like the times that I've read the Bible. So it's pretty cool. This next year, and some odd months, will be a new frontier. Pulling us to the line. <laughs> Alright. We're coming back from the temple. And I am hungry. City, oh my gosh, guys, that lighting though. That lighting. That's pretty. Two best friends, walking separate paths, yet sharing their adventures with each other. I have a snail on my hat. His name is Zeus. They asked me if I was gonna to try to take him home and I said I would just take a picture, but if Zeus stays on my head. It's beautiful, risky, and exciting. All part of the plan. Who is that place you that has a gazebo? Isn't that cool? I love that, actually. That is so pretty. But not as pretty as her! Oh, like, I love the little orange that happens. So, update with your favorite Hermanas, because we are your favorite. You don't actually get a choice in that. We just got a call from the APs, the guys who are, like, next to the mission president, their elders, whatever. 
and they just told us that they're bringing us another bed, which makes literally no sense. President just called us, and so uh, now we kind of know what's going on. I'm opening an area with a sister. I don't know who's young at the area. She's staying here with another STL. She's gonna train and two babies, and she is gonna be in charge of other STLs and train. 